<laughs> okay, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the legendary, the man, the myth, the legend, Prep Center Bob is here, and we're going to put up a, uh, a, 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 well, a running shed. A running shed, yeah. For our animals, because we got to get our cows here. Yeah, uh, for YouTube cows. YouTube yeah. cows. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. So for placement of this run-in shed, boom. Ta-da! We're thinking right over here. That works. Just as long as it's, the more level it is, the faster we can do this. Yeah, then that's pretty good right there. Yeah, there's a, there's a, a ditch that run, runs along here, so right over right here there. probably would be fine. That'll work. Don't, don't step in holes. Don't step in the holes. Don't step in the holes. Isn't that funny? That's what Caleb used to tell He'd me. He'd say don't fall in holes. <laughs> Like, I'd, I'd leave the house, and he'd grab me and run and be like, Don't fall in holes. Don't fall in holes. Yeah. Why'd you do that, by the way? I fell in a hole when I broke my arm riding a go-kart. That makes sense. Don't want me to fall in holes. That's very kind. Nice. So this is, this is kind of like an ice auger, but you're saying it's for soil. Yep. It's got a, a drive point on it, and then you can use it to dig, uh, dig post holes with it in dirt. All right, Caleb. I thought you were going to have to use the post hole diggers. Well, you will have to clean out the hole with them. Okay. He's got one. He's got one. Work smarter, not harder. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, quick question before you get rocking there. Yes, sir. You just figured out a diagonal on this square. Um, I would have assumed you just measure from side to side side to side, and then make sure it's parallel, but you did a bit of math, why is that? Well, in order to make sure that there's a right angle, there's two ways of doing it. You can either use Pythagorean's theorem, which is uh, x squared plus y squared equals z squared. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like fun. It is, it's not that hard if you know how to cheat. Uh, the other thing is, is on a square, you can figure out the diagonal, the, the measurement across, like on a triangle, you know what the two legs yeah. are? Figuring out the diagonal makes the right angle. So on a 12 foot running shed, the diagonal is 16 foot three inches. That's what we marked this hole. Now we know that the square is, or the building's gonna be pretty straight. All right. Okay, so part of being neighbors is helping this guy get his animal shed built too. So that's another reason why we rented that auger. It was so that we could both share it and get the holes done at the same time without killing ourselves. Working smarter, not harder. Yeah, and I, I don't know if you've ever tried to dig through hard soil with these things, and it's completely doable, but man, it takes it takes the uh, the spit out of you. That's right. <laughs> yeah, so, and we got Caleb, he's gonna be our main hole cleaner digger man, and yeehaw, here we go. All right, so this is where Prep Setter Bob's gonna build his animal shelter. And we're going to get at some holes real soon. He's already got it laid out. And uh, I don't think we're going to have to do the Pythagorean theorem on this one because he's got it already set. Here, another slanted Batman angle for the... Uh, the video connoisseurs. Pop. Okay, so we got the hard part done, digging the holes. We we ended up running into some roots and stuff, and so Caleb just went in there and clawed it out with his, no, he didn't do that. But um, we're gonna go ahead and return this, uh, the auger, and then get to working on the uh, shed there. It's gonna be awesome. Prep Center Bob has uh, a little bit of advice and knowledge to share, in part. Part of being the fun of being a grandpa. All right, are you ready yeah. for a lesson? For helping me out, I want to give you a tip. Okay. All right, you have your choice. You can either have $5 in currency or 50 cents in money. Which one would you take? Okay, that's Or do you want to learn more? 
that's a difficult because you never you never see those anymore and those well this is currency and this is money you know the difference no all right currency is whatever people decide whatever the value is money is determined by nature by because it's made out of a precious metal okay. so it's a store of value this will always have value this doesn't you can burn it you can destroy it prices go up and down like crazy this always stays the same okay this is five dollars in currency right now this 50 cents is 90 percent silver so technically it's worth six dollars and 30 cents right now so which one would you rather hit that one wise choice smart boy <laughs> and we say thank you very much thank you Ugh. tangles tangles Redneck scaffolding. Love it, love it, love it. <laughs> Anything to make it easier. Another word on these screws. The reason why we're using these screws is because this whole thing will eventually come apart in a couple weeks uh, to make a woodshed. But that's the whole idea is to be able to reuse it. So that's why we're not nailing it, we're screwing it. And um, yeehaw. Thank you. Thank Big you. thank you. <laughs> now it's done. The animals will have a place to get out of the weather if they need to. Uh, but now we got to go get them. Yeah. And you're going to catch them. I'll catch them. You'll catch them. I'll catch them easy. There we go. They like me. There you go. Puzzle. Come here. Come on, Puzzle. Prep Sitter Bob says he thinks that, that Betty is probably ready to calf. She's awful close. I'll check her when we... They, uh, he said, he said um, that she was about... You gotta look at the camera when we're oh. filming, honey. <laughs> the vet said that she was about where she... What was it? Eight, nine months? Eight months when he was here? Yeah. So. She's got to be close then. Yeah. When they when they bred her when she was in it was early October, so that puts her in early July. Okay. Well, let's lock up uh, the outer door and I'll grab the shocker and we'll get busy. Okay. One down, one to go. We got to get. Well, Dottie's in there. So who's next? Betty. Betty. Okay. Got a cat. Look at that. Nice. All right, Mama, you have been excited, and I think Hope has maybe even been more excited yeah. to be having this moment right now, getting the cows. Yep. Do tell. I. Our farm is supposed to have cows, and our cows, and I. Every time I look out the window in the morning, and I don't see my cows, I'm sad. Yeah. I love watching them out the window. And we'll be able to see them from from our window, from our from all of the windows in the new house. The field. Yeah. And you have been missing puzzle, haven't you? Well, today's the day. Yep. We're working on it. We got Dottie and Betty right now, yep. and then uh, the next two are going to be Mr. E and T Bone. Yep. 
and we'll get everybody over there soon. He's on his knees. Can't even help it. <laughs> Can't even help it. There we go. Good girl. Good girl. I don't want to walk her just a little bit. Sounds good. You want me to wait? No, let me. Ooh. She's evacuating. She's evacuating. Johnny. <laughs> Fence is electrified. Two cows happily doing what cows do, yeah. cowing. Well, we'll just watch her for just a minute. I mean, we had the other cow here, so she should be all right. I think so. Yeah, she just likes being right around. Over. She's going right over. All the times I've released cows into a new paddock, the first five minutes is always the most fun. Sketchy. Uh, I've had them blow right through a fence, and then three days later, you finally get them back. Oh, no. <laughs> we'll wait the five minutes, yeah. I think. We'll just wait a little bit. She, you got the other one there. She's good. So. Hi, guys. Really? Checking everything out. You like your new your new uh, shelter there? Water's coming. We're working on that. It's burbling. But you're doing doing good. You like the new uh, salad bar? Mm -hmm. Yummy. Yeah, right. Hello, friends. Okay, folks, uh, that would normally be it for the video today. However, we just realized um, that Caleb probably needs to go to the walk-in clinic. Yeah. He got bit by something, and his hand is swelling, and he's got these weird markings up his arm. So, so well, cows are happy. Yeah. There's a lot of mosquitoes, God though. is licking my arm. <laughs> yeah, but um, so Mama's going to... I'm gonna man the fort and watch the kids and you're gonna take him to the walk-in clinic. Yep. And I'm sure it's just some kind of weird stinging thing. Yeah, right. As there's another one there. <laughs> right, I know, they're all over the it's place. It's not one of those murder hornets, I hope. Those things yeah. are bad news. Anyway, that's it, I'm Brad. I'm Krista. I'm Caleb. <laughs> you guys have an amazing and blessed day.